You and I know that Allah Almighty created Adam alayhi salam and told him don't eat from the tree. Agreed? Him and his wife, Allah says, وَلَا تَقْرَبَا هَذِهِ الشَّجَرَةِ Don't eat from this tree. That's it. So in that place where they were made, and there is a big discussion as to where exactly it was. Was it the Jannah that we are going to go back to or was it a different Jannah? The more correct opinion is it was a different garden that is called Jannah to Libtila. It was a garden wherein which Allah wanted to test Adam and Hawa. And he knew that he is going to prohibit one thing and he knew what was going to happen. But the broader purpose was that Allah Almighty send man to earth in order to test them similarly knowing that the best from amongst us will be the one who repents immediately. So therefore, Adam alayhi salam, having spoken with Allah, created by Allah, exactly as he was, in the sense that he wasn't a baby who was born. No, he was created already an adult. Adam alayhi salam was created already an adult. And Allah says, we taught him all the nouns and the names and everything he needed to know to communicate. We taught Adam the names of everything. This is a tree, this is a stone, this is this and this is water and everything he already knew. He came into creation. There was only one thing that was prohibited. One. What was that? The tree. Don't go close to this tree. Don't eat from it. And guess what happened? That's exactly what he did. La hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. You thought of it? One thing, just one thing not allowed and that's exactly what he did. He did not defy Allah because he knew. He had spoken to Allah. He knew Allah better than you and I, you and I.